Today marks one year since Joe Biden became president of the United States. And in the past year, we've seen failure after failure, crisis after crisis. After taking office, Biden immediately spent $3 trillion, and now inflation has risen to the highest level we've seen in 40 years. He imposed unlawful and authoritarian COVID vaccine and mask mandates, which were then struck down by the U.S. Supreme Court. He politicized the CDC and the NIH, and he undermined Americans' trust in our health institutions. Biden went after parents, speaking out for the best educational interests of their children. His administration and their allies even tried to slander parents as domestic terrorists, directing the FBI to target moms and dads who dare to disagree with him. Biden has utterly abandoned our southern border, creating chaos. He ended the Trump administration's successful policies that were keeping illegal immigrants from crossing the border. And last year, Tragically, we saw the highest number of illegal aliens cross our border in over 20 years. And now, President Biden and the Democrats are trying to break the Senate rules to engineer a federal takeover of our elections, striking down every voter ID law in the country, every voter integrity law in the country, so they'll never lose again. President Biden has also repeatedly undermined our allies and emboldened our enemies. The way he abandoned Afghanistan resulted in a deadly crisis in which 13 American servicemen and women were murdered. He waived sanctions on the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, enriching Vladimir Putin and paving the way for Russia to invade our ally Ukraine and to wipe it off the map. Having given Afghanistan to the Taliban and putting Ukraine within Putin's reach, Biden also seems set to give Taiwan to China and a nuclear weapon to Iran. Enemies across the globe of America are stronger. Biden's been trying to subvert the law and to undermine our close friend and ally Israel and Israel's sovereignty over Jerusalem while simultaneously demonstrating weakness and appeasement towards Iran. The American people deserve better. That's why I'm gonna continue fighting for you, fighting against policies that are hurting Texans, that are hurting Americans. Despite the challenges we face, I still know that the United States is the greatest country on the face of the earth and in the history of the world. Together we can and we will overcome these challenges. May God bless you and may God continue to bless the United States of America.